yeah hi uh, so this course contains total 45 hours of classes which includes from basic to advanced level okay so i'm starting uh, i'm using personal edition for this uh, course so if you require like uh, this uh, like a personal edition software it can reach out to me and like currently uh, this is uh, like uh, deprecated from packer system they are not uh, are providing any personal edition software so if required i can share you the link and then you can download and install it okay so how to download install and all like you can reach out to me if you don't know okay <clears throat> so once you are uh, installed uh, I, how this how it should be looks like basically i change this background image but i just customized or else you'll see the pegas screen in the background okay so a username would be administrator uh, at the red and the password would be install okay and just try to log in yeah so this is basically how pega login screen looks like so <coughs> Uh, if you see here, so we have Dev Studio, App Studio, Admin Studio, Prediction Studio. This is where uh, the different studios. Basically, that means uh, Dev Studio means where developers will uh, work on more. And App Studio is like a kind of advanced thing, like uh, uh, like more, even now Pega was insisting us to use App Studio rather than Dev Studio. So and Admin Studio is it is for administrator purpose let's say uh, if you want to see any like uh, background processes so you want to manage this or else you want to trace it so that would be. and prediction studio would be it is for <coughs> like uh, um, uh, like for predi prediction studio that we are not using anymore a prediction studio so only Dell studio app studio and admin studio okay and the, this would be our application that means where um, the application name where which application we are currently logged in and what would be so basically this is just a base of our pega i have not created any application okay so before that i'm just giving out this overall overview of this okay and here you can see the uh, definition and uh, like if you have any uh, different application you can switch it and you can see the channels interface skin and all. we'll go through that one by one okay and this is where the configuration map is so this is also i'll cover up as separate session and this launch portal would be like <coughs> um, where you want to see the end user portal how exactly it looks for so either it is case manager or case user so you can launch from here and this is uh, called create like if you want to create any uh, new uh, case or you want to create any new rules so you can create from here okay so from each uh, <coughs> division we have like whatever <coughs> we have so that's a division from each division we have the individual rules that we can create okay and this is and this is like a search button Uh, where you can see uh, uh, the uh, uh, you can search it is called global search where you can search all the rules rule name whatever content whatever you can you can search and you can find it in from your application and this blue symbol is called uh, like check-in checkout so you have any checked out or check-in rules uh, you can do bulk check-in bulk checkout okay and if coming to right side you have the recent that means recently opened rules you can see and the case types uh, so we'll discuss what is case type data types and all so this is app like uh, your application and this would be a uh, record second you have seen right individual <coughs> divide divide groups so from data model we have these many rules that we can use and decision integration processor this admin security so this and all you'll get to know like one by one when we started okay and this is 
uh, favorite so let's say if you have any favorite rule to be added you can add here okay so that means you can directly you can open from here from your favorite list okay and this is your operator profile where you can see your access group and profile and what is your operator you can log off or that would be okay so currently we are using administrator by only let's say created for uh, we'll create one new operator say first track pega okay pega dot com create so this is how even when you join uh, an applic uh, any application right is started so this is how you can do save as or you can create new operator ready from your organization okay so you can update your password also i'll update it to rules okay so this individual uh, 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 rules will go through one by one but for now just keep it okay so i'll create one new application so current our application new application for uh, so we are creating one uh, new personal loan uh, uh, approval process okay so that would be your application so i'm just going through and i'll create one uh, personal loan like basically the loan can like uh, it would be like uh, <clears throat> so there will be a one case agent where he can fill up all his case detail and he can create an application for personal loan and then it will go to a multiple steps let's say uh, 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 a reviewer one or uh, a reviewer two once it is both were reviewed and it would be approved for a loan it means a loan was sanctioned okay so that is our application okay so let's create an application how to create application means go to your application here pega platform so select new application okay So this is select such with all types. Okay, I'll select this pega platform because it would be a uh, basic like you can understand very well. That's the reason I just selected that. Okay, and the loan I'll select as say something like. what we can create hdfc personal loan okay so advanced configuration so here we have two types one is a framework and implementation we are not is creating any framework application uh, so what is framework means uh, i'll tell you like when i'll i'll cover up that part also next okay so i'll just keep as a personal hdscpr okay united states hdfc division loan unit personal loan okay and here we have so this is how your class structure would create okay so if you want you can add your division also into the your class structure and you can also add a uh, unit layer also so if you add your organization name division name unit and uh, application and the class group okay so this is how your the class structure looks like okay so let's create it 
was none. So I just keep it here, okay? Personal room, okay? Save. Application, something like it. Okay. Create application. Let's create it. So in the background, it will create many rules. So because it is creating its own uh, for a new application, that's the reason it will take some time. So let's wait. So meanwhile, so in the below, if you can see, so this is a tracer, <coughs> um, and this is clipboard, and this is live wire, like this, these things called uh, debugging tools. So when you, are, whenever you are up working on application, these three, three things will be work. Uh, it would be uh, like uh, helpful for throughout your application, like you are uh, working. Okay. So tracer basically means whatever you are creating any task that will be creating so that will trace out each step by step what things like process it going through so where you can find any of uh, if there is any uh, issues or errors you can find that okay <clears throat> and this this would be uh, clipboard uh, where you can uh, see the like what is already uh, there in the your case type data what the data has been loaded whether it's correct or not and live is something uh, where you can directly do live and you can open up direct rule directly from the portal you need not to worry about go on such like that okay so i'll do one thing i'll create hdfc admin Yes, I can select existing one. So I'm putting background dot com. Okay. Where else where do we can do just log off from here? It is taking This is so good, right? <clears throat> Not 
okay save this and go to your operator profile operator so just add here here hdfc PR administrator okay and also add hdfc okay i'll select hdfc PR and i'll save this okay So this one will rename. <clears throat> okay. So I'll keep something like that. Log off. <clears throat> then log in. So, <clears throat> yeah, by default, you able to see this administrator yeah, that we can change. Okay. So, how to change? Go to your operator. your operator so open your <coughs> access group in the access group we have like see if you see this is our application hdsc pr is application the version is 01010 okay <coughs> so default would be it is selected as an admin studio that means you can by, by and default uh, uh, it will be loaded admin studio you can select developer it express means app studio okay so this prediction should be it px said prediction studio for prediction studio so just select your developer <coughs> uh, portal here in the available portal select developer and say okay so from next time whenever you log in directly i will be <coughs> uh, uh, landed into developer port okay so if you see this is our application that created we got created now so okay so hdfc personal loan administrator so so before it was not there so this is our total class structure okay if you see uh, hdfc is our organization and the loan is a division and a pr is uh, our like unit layer okay so this is application name and this is our power class so in the each whenever if you require later if you want to create any rule uh, under your let's say any uh, division layer so you can create from uh, under this class okay <clears throat> so if you want to create any uh, rules that related to integration you can use this <coughs> loan hyphen int and if you relate uh, you want to create any rules that related to data you can select data okay and the rule this is hdfc is a, uh, this is uh, our organization layer okay so even organization layer have this one data class and in class fw and loan also loan is our division so where you can create your uh, each rules okay so uh, if it is uh, any rules are related to integration you can always choose this int okay and if you see your application configuration so go to definition here so so if it is a HDFC PR is a, our application name so where you can see the built-on application was 
so pega rules okay so and you like it okay when you open this pega rule this is a our otb application so you can see this all otb rule set versions okay so this is will not be changing anything under this okay so be, uh, on top of pega rules so we have created our application okay so this ui kit for uh, ui okay so even again it is based on pega only okay so we have skin and we have application url where this and all okay mm. and then close it and coming to in the development branches so we can use let's say branches for so i'll cover up this again in going sessions so just for basic understanding right branch is something like like a two developers can work on same rule like our same functionality at the same time okay and they can later on they can retrofit the, their changes uh, like one and one into another okay that's how it would be so branches so that's where it will help for okay and the rule set if you observe your application rule set so we have hdsc peer so this is our organization so organization we have two rule sets one is uh, hdsc peer and this uh, sorry uh, this hdsc is our um, organization and hdsc int is organization levels in integer rule set okay so we have it has created two rule set for organization same way it is created <coughs> two for our division see if you see the loan is division and the personal is our in what is our <coughs> uh, unit layer so it has created individual and this is our application okay so it has created individual two rule set for that mean total eight rule set has been created so a uh, rule set is kind of a uh, like uh, <coughs> it is a kind of a uh, you can say it is a bucket for rules where we can keep uh, uh, related to other uh, uh, rules okay so going forward we'll 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 let you know what is uh, the rules that's on that session okay and this is if you want to see any data types if let's say if you added any data type that is not showing under uh, in the application your data type so you can always you can add here okay so if you have any case types you can add here and if you say you can see here this case types and data types okay so if there is any data say types that is already there but it's not showing here means you can always add from here and you can say you can see here if his case type is missing you can add it okay so this is a basic um, uh, applic uh, application like how, how application creation <coughs> okay i hope uh, you understood we are currently using pega version 8 at 7 okay Yeah, if you have any doubts, we can uh, you can ask or else uh, we will we'll create one new case types uh, on this and we'll continue on that. Okay.